Greg, man. What's going on? How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Oh, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, thank you so much for taking time uh, to spend with us on Next Gen TV here with us today. Uh, we just got done showing some clips, uh, yep. some action from this season. And this is a big and very special interview because you are not only our first male athlete that we're interviewing here on Next Gen TV, but you are a recipient of the 2021 Mr. Prodigy Award. So congratulations on that. And uh, we, we are really, really happy to have you uh, here with us and be able to give us a little bit about the guy with the helmet off. Yeah. A little bit more about some of the other things you do athletically uh, as well as academically. Now, like I just said, you are our winner of the 2021 Mr. Prodigy Award. Uh, how does it feel to be a winner of that award and to kind of wear that crown uh, going into this next upcoming season? You know, it was a great feeling to thought of being like on top for those moments was great. And it was really something to enjoy. And, you know, like it's in the moment you don't realize it, but it's such a big award. Like it means so much more than you think it does. Absolutely, absolutely. And hey, man, you were well deserving of it. Uh, when we were going through the process of picking finalists and obviously uh, coming to uh, consensus that uh, you were worthy of the, uh, the award, uh, we broke down some of your numbers from the season and you had a total of 718 yards 571 of those are rushing, 147 of those are receiving. You averaged 104 yards, total yards per game. Uh, you had almost uh, nine yards per rush, including nine rushing touchdowns. You had 16.3 yards per reception, and you had, tw uh, sorry, four uh, receiving touchdowns. Uh, you averaged 1.8 touchdowns per game. You averaged 13.1 points per game. And by the way, you did all of this in, I think, about six games because obviously you had some injuries and some illness during the course of the season, so you weren't able to have the full go. But when you were out there, you made a huge impact on the game and the success that your team, the West Side Lightning, had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I, and how do you feel to be a part of that team, West Side Lightning? It's a great organization, great coaching. It's like a great it's like a family almost like we're always bonding and it's always like a loving team. We're always like accept, accepting each other and, you know, just trying to be our best selves. Excellent. Excellent. That makes sense. And that's why you've been a part of that organization for some time now. Uh, we went a little bit deeper though, because since you had such a uh, kind of shortened season and then we wanted to kind of compare what it would be like for you, if you actually were to put up those type of numbers, uh, if you were playing at the high school level or the collegiate level, NFL level, where you had like anywhere between 12 to 15 minutes per quarter. And when we broke it down like sports science, we found that you averaged or you would average 196.1 yards per game and wow. almost four touchdowns per game if wow. we were to translate it into the, to the next level. Uh, so again, that's huge. But we were just talking about what you did on the offensive side. You also made a huge impact on the defensive side uh, as well. Uh, what position did you play on defense? I played linebacker mostly. Sometimes I would swap around like a little bit of DN, sometimes corner. Okay, cool. cool. So uh, again, they like okay, because you have some, such a, a grand skill set, they can kind of move you around to different positions. Now I got a nickname for you, my personal nickname. We were talking about this when we were looking at your film. I like to call you LNT. You know what LNT stands for? Not. The lightning and the thunder, man. You bring the lightning like and the that. thunder. I like yeah. that. I like that. LNT, man, because you got lightning speed. And then, man, as we saw in some of those clips, you bring the hammer on the defensive side when you land in the layer of the wood or when you, you know, drop in the shoulder, when you run and you run tough. So I like to call you LNT, man, lightning and thunder. Yeah, I might have to have my friends start calling me that. <laughs> now, a little bit about your football journey. Where'd your football journey begin? So I've been playing football. I started flagging around preschool, kindergarten years. And then when I was in third grade, I played tackle for the first year on a fourth grade team for my CYO school. And then fourth grade, fifth grade, I played for my public school. And then sixth grade was my first year with Westside. And I also played for Ginn that year. And then seventh grade, I played for Westside and Ginn again. Okay, so seems like uh, football has been around for a long time. And uh, family thing too, because you have an older sibling, right? 
Yep, my brother's a freshman. He plays football for Ignatius High School. Okay, all right. Now, who would you say are some of your biggest inspirations when it comes to uh, what you're doing athletically? Of course, my, like, family, my dad, he's always supporting me, bringing me everywhere. Just a great guy. And all my coaches, like, they they push me and they really want the best for me. Like, it's not just about having me on their team. They want me to be able to go as far as I can and do what I really want to do. That's big. That's big. That's big. It makes sense to me as well. Now, uh, for our next gen family, a lot of people don't know this, just kind of catching them up because me and you've had conversation. I got to know a lot about you. You actually play three sports, right? You play football, you have, uh, you wrestle, yeah. and you run track and field. Now, how is it balancing that? And uh, how's that going, those other sports? It can be tough balance it all because, you know, at, at one point you're starting to do football. You're, it's the end of the wrestling season and track is also starting. So at one point you're playing three sports in one period of time. So it could be hard balancing it, but I love just getting out there and, you know, being active and doing it. So like, it's no problem for me. I love getting out there. Yeah, and playing all three of the sports seems you can see all the results of it. Like I said, that lightning quick speed. And then obviously with the wrestling has made you uh, pretty good when it comes to the technique on the, on the tackle side, on the defensive side. Now, are there any athletes that uh, that you kind of admire or you kind of model your game after? Well, of course, I love Ted Ginn Jr. He's a role model of mine. And I like Alvin Kamara because I kind of like that, like, passing, running, like, mixture. I like the both sides of it. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Now, again, you're more than just an athlete. So uh, what are some of the things that you like to do off the field? I love being with yeah, or the track, right? Because you got all those. So yeah, outside, outside uh, athletics. I I'm a, I live on a farm, so I got to take care of animals here and there. I love being out with my animals. You know, I love, you know, being on my land. I we're about to get four wheeler. I like just roaming around and then hanging out with friends and family is one of my favorite things. Right, very cool, very cool. And then uh, again, you're a student athlete. Do you have a favorite subject, the things you do uh, in clubs or activities at the school? Favorite subject? I, I love social studies because like, I just like learning about tons of different stuff, like different people with different cultures, all that stuff. It's fun to learn about and what happened in the past is also cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, Let's say, you know, after your career is over, because obviously uh, athletically you have so much talent, so it wouldn't be a surprise if you end up going professional, at least one of those sports. But after your career, uh, any other things that you'd like to do? Any goals? Well, of course I want to stay with the game. Like maybe I could be a trainer or some type of like therapist. I also want to coach when I'm older, but it's really just about, I want to like help out how, how I'm being treated by you know, different coaches, I want to give that back. Like what they do for me, I want to do that for other kids. Right, that's yeah. awesome. It's a life of service is great. And then obviously Mr. Prodigy was a huge milestone as you expressed your gratitude for that, and your appreciation for the opportunity. But do you have any other uh, maybe goals that you'd like to accomplish in the future? This year in track, I want to get top three in the 400 and top five in the 100 at Junior Olympics. I want to go D1, and my main goal is to make it to the NFL. I, I, that's my life goal. Awesome, awesome. Well, you know, it would be cool if, uh, with all of that, you maybe even get a chance to get a state championship or maybe even get a chance to get a national championship. I don't know if you stay home with your Buckeye. That'd be cool to get one. Or, you know, like you said, your, your brother's an Ignatius guy, so that would be cool to see you get a state championship as well. All right, well, hey, this is a special part of our, our – our discussion in our interview, we call this the next gen 10. Now this one, you got to bring out some of that lightning because we're going to ask you some uh, 10 questions uh, pretty quickly. I mean, if you need some time to kind of take to think about it, answer that's cool, but try to answer them with the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. So you ready for the next gen 10? Yes, sir. I got you. Let's All do right. it. All right, let's go. Question number one, before or after a game, what's one musical artist you have to listen to to get yourself pumped up for it? That's tough. I either got to say J. Cole or Meek Mill, one of those two. Okay, cool, cool. That's both of those nice picks, nice picks. Now, number two, what's your favorite either pre- or post-game meal? Before game, I, I just drink water, body armor, so I don't get cramps or anything. 
and then after a game, like grilled chicken, like a salad almost, like a grilled chicken salad with rice, anything with rice and chicken is perfect. Oh, oh man, you're a healthy eater, man. That's what's up. Now, question number three, if you could be in the backfield with any current NFL or college quarterback, who would you want to be in the backfield and play with? I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson, so they never know what's coming. Oh, my gosh. Man, the speed back there, man. Whew, yeah. That's crazy. All right. Now, what's one NFL or college stadium you would love to have a chance to play in? Oh, Death Valley, but LSU. LSU, Death Valley. Oh, yeah. SEC. That'd be dope. That'd be cool, man. Now, number five. Who would you say is the best athlete in your family? You can include your parents. Who's the best athlete in your fa in your family? My dad's a pretty strong dude. Like he can he can hit them weights pretty hard. Ooh, that's hard. I want to say me, but I don't want to be that guy. But I'm <laughs> go my. All right, all right. So we came to the lift, and your dad's got it. But everything else, you got to go at yourself. That's cool. That's modest enough. That's modest enough. Number six, you could play any sport other than football in college or professionally. What would you choose other than football? Ooh. I want to say hooping because that would just be fun, but I got to go with track. That's one of my loves. I love track. It would be so fun. All right. Ooh, number seven, if you could speak any other language fluently, what would it be? Language? Oh, this is a hard one. Mm, probably, honestly, Spanish. It's a lot of Spanish, so I want to, like, be with that. I like that. There's so many people that speak Spanish, and I want to, like, be able to conversate with them. Yeah, I can imagine, hey, you playing NFL, you might be playing in Mexico, playing a game in Mexico, so you'd be yeah. able to speak, say, see, si, como estas, right? I yeah, got it, man. Yeah, yeah. Number eight, Xbox or PS5? I get a lot of hate for this, but I got to go with Xbox. I, wow. I hey, Xbox. I'm cool with the X. I'm cool with the X. Yeah. You got a favorite game? Ooh, probably Warzone. I love Warzone Rebirth. All right. Yeah. Number nine. What's your favorite sports drink, or was or is it water? Probably water. I try to drink a gallon a day. I always got it. Wow. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, number 10 should be an easy answer. What's your favorite sports media outlet, my friend? Next gen, next gen, yes, baby. Next gen. Yes, sir. All right, next gen. Hey, Liam, man, thank you so much for being with us, man. We appreciate you taking the time out of your day. We're looking forward to seeing what you do this upcoming season, being maybe maybe a back-to-back, -back, Mr. Prodigy, because a lot of people don't know, you got another year of middle school before you go over to the high school ranks. So uh, we look forward to seeing it, man. And you always welcome back here with us, man. We're looking forward to covering you, all right? Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right, cool. Have a good one, man. Next gen out, baby. Thank you.